mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We indeed serve a mighty God who is forever eternally worthy of our praise. Good evening, saints of God, and welcome to another Sunday night's meeting where we will be experiencing God in a meaningful way as we will be listening to holistic music, worshiping as never done before, thankfulness, and also we will be listening to the message which is lifting our praises to God. God deserves our praise, and indeed, we will do just that. So let us continue to confuse the enemy, let him know that we have never lost our praise, and in doing so, we will definitely trample the enemy under our feet. Those who are viewing online, remember to continue to like, to share, and to subscribe. Please tell someone that something spectacular will be happening tonight and they can't afford to miss it because we will be experiencing the power of God moving in ways that we have never seen before and they too can be a living testimony. Let us continue to lift our praises to God. Whether you are in the confinement of your homes or at someone's home, let us send our shouts of hallelujahs how our shouts of praise the Lord, our shouts of thank you, Jesus, let us lift our praises to God. Welcome once, welcome twice, lifting our praises to God, a grand welcome to you all. Okay, let us pray. Oh, kind, loving, and eternal Father, we give you thanks tonight for allowing us this privilege to come in your presence. And as we come here, we crave for your Holy Spirit to be among us so we can worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless the program now tonight. And may those who participated in it will be a blessing and a light to the outer world so they can come to glorify you. Be with us now tonight and bless your program once more. We pray and ask all his mercies in Jesus' name. Our song of praise is Praise Him, Praise Him, Jesus, our Blessed Redeemer, hymn 249. to the 
Good evening, everyone. Our scripture reading for today is Psalm 146, verses 1 and 2. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. This is the word of the Lord. And we are so glad for the opportunity to work with you in sharing the gospel. 
you know, different means, through different talents, and through respective gifts. Uh, tonight, however, the gospel will be shared through the preaching of the word. We present uh, the Johnson to you in a special way and ask that you will fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he will speak with power and with clarity. May all those who listen and watch not hear or see him, but hear the voice of Jesus speaking to their hearts and speaking to their respective situations. I ask, O oh Lord, that you'll give him the assurance that you are with him. And at any point in time that he opens his mouth, once he speaks the words given to him from you, uh, they will not fall flat, nor will they fall on deaf ears, but they will accomplish uh, that which you had ordained them to do. They will never return to you void. We pray that you'll give him this assurance, and may he preach with the guarantee that the power of God is attending him. And to this end, may those who are viewing be blessed. We pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? I want to introduce to you Hair in this corner For the good and the right Stands the champion robed in white His height exceeds the heavens His weight outweighs the world His reach reaches everywhere His age is evermore He is higher than the highest He's greater than the great No one could ever take His crown away He is mighty than the mightiest And He reigns from Champion of love mm -hmm. He left his hometown To enter this arena To raise his hands in victory For you and me And oh, an angry crowd crucified him This king wore the crown and they gladly watched the champion go down. Oh, but I will never count him out, for I'm a witness of all oh, the day he rose to retain the title, the champion of love. Never say that I would give you silver or gold Or that you wouldn't feel the fire or shiver in the cold But I did say you'll never walk through this world alone mm -hmm. And I did say don't make this world your own I never said that fear wouldn't find you in the night Or that loneliness was something you'd never have to fight But I did say I'll be there, I'll be right there by your side Mm-hmm and I did say, I'll always help you fight. You know I've made a promise that I intend to keep. My grace will be so.
sufficient in every time of need. My love will be the anchor that you can hold on to. This is the promise. This is the promise I've made to you. I never say the friends who never turn their backs on you or that the world around you wouldn't see you as a fool but I did say like me you'll surely be despised oh yes and I did say my way confound the why never said you wouldn't taste the bitter kiss of death or have to walk through chilly Jordan to enter into rest but I did say I'll be waiting right on the other side oh yes and I did say I'll dry every tear you cry I've made to you so this is the promise that if we be faithful and true and hold on to his unchanging hand despite whatever problems you may be going through in life never give up just hold on so you can claim the promise Let this be your life. Then I can separate us. We're gonna make it through. This is the promise. This is the promise I made to you. Oh, this is the promise. This is the promise I made to you. So whatever you're going through, never give up. Just continue to hold on to his unchanging hand so you can claim the promise. This is the promise. Good evening, everyone. It is indeed a pleasure to be sharing in tonight's evangelistic inspiration. I'm certain your souls have been blessed thus far with those melodious soul-stirring songs. You will agree with me that the spoken word remains irrelevant. Tonight's message will be delivered by one of my favorite elders. He's very humble, he has a calm demeanor and a pleasant countenance. His wife is no exception. Most importantly, he loves the Lord. The person I speak of is Eldo Winslow Johnson. Before he delivers the word, we will have the song of meditation to prepare our hearts by singing evangelist Claude Edwards. Be blessed. Always on our mind 
and help someone by the way one thing I know when trust in Lord I want to live in one accord to trust you in all I try to find my life will never be the same lest I trust your holy name praise you Pleasant evening to everybody. Good it's good to be worshiping the Lord at this moment. And I'm happy that the Lord has kept us and preserved us so that we can give praises to his holy name. Amen. Tonight I shall be speaking about us lifting up praises to God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you once more in your presence. 
to thank you for your goodness and your good love. Pray, Lord, that as we live, we will give you all the glory, the honor, and the praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You might have seen on the internet a person by the name of Tony Melendez. You see, Tony was born without hands. When his mother was pregnant with him, she took a medication that affected the fetus. And that is why he was born without hands. He, during his youthful days, he was worried and that he was an handicap and many people didn't see him as a normal person but he never felt too comfortable but one day he was passing his father's guitar and he took his feet and took them took up the guitar and he took it up he said well I can use my feet to do things so he continued he practiced like seven hours per day to play the guitar with his feet alone. He continued and said, if I can play the guitar with my feet, I can do other things. So he writes with his feet and he played all the music. That is what he practiced. And he was very efficient. And he married a beautiful girl. The Lord. He had or he fostered two beautiful children. Amen. He drives himself to wherever he wants to go. And he became one of the most noted musicians ever. You see, he didn't let circumstances prevented him from serving the Lord. He didn't let obstacles prevented him from serving the Lord. You see, once the Lord praises in us, it will flow. At the moment the praises doesn't flow, it is because there are some obstacles in our lives. God's praises must flow. You do not have to force praise. If it's in you, it will go. Amen. We have to praise the Lord. Circumstances should not prevent us. Impediment should not prevent us from praising God. You see, when you come to church and recognize what the Lord has done for you, you need to thank him. You need to praise him. Amen. You need to lift him up. Yes. You need to shout out Amen. and give him praises. Yes. Don't watch anybody what they're, they're going to say amen or not. You know what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Because you know you can lift up God's praises. Amen. Maybe the person who doesn't say praise to God. Maybe the Lord hasn't done anything for that person. That's what the person might think. But you have experienced God's praises. So you're going to give it. Don't worry. You know, sometimes, you know, um, in my house, uh, I'm walking outside. And when I remember God's goodness to me, I just shout out, thank you, Jesus. My wife would look on and say, what happened? I said, God, good to me. God, love me. Look how he keep me. I have to give him praise. She would just smile and she realized that it is so because she knows that God has been good to us. And so we need to give God all the praises, all the honor and glory that is due to him. I have to praise the Lord. Whenever things are going right, I praise him. When I'm feeling pain, I praise him. Because I could be somewhere else. 
that I don't feel no pain. I would be six foot six down under, but I'm above. So I need to give him the praises. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. How can you shut up your mouth when God has been blessing you? You can't come to church and sit down and not say an amen. Afraid to see somebody, uh, uh, to hear somebody, uh, to watch somebody hearing you say amen. The love of Christ should be in your bones so much that you have to give him praise. You cannot be quiet. Praise him every day. Keep praising him. Keep praising him, my friends. Because the songwriter says, lift him up. It is he that bids you, let the dying look and live. Lift him up, it is he that speaketh. Now he bids you, flee from wrongs. And the last verse of the song says, Oh, then lift him up in singing. Lift the Savior up in prayer. He the glorious Redeemer. All the sins of men did bear. Yes, the young shall bow before him. And the old, their voices raise. All the deaf. All the deaf. All the deaf shall hear the deaf, hearing Hosanna, and the dumb shall shout his praise. If dumb can shout his praise, dumb, and we have so much mouth when on the outside, come in church and be quiet. No one want anybody to hear us. Give God the praise because he has been with us. He has been keeping us. You might be imperfect, but you need to give him praise. You might be disappointed in some things, but give him praise. You might be lacking of something, but give him praise. When you are expecting something, give God praise for it. Don't wait until he gives it to you. Then he say, thank you, Jesus. Because I asked you, I'm expecting it. Tell him that you love him and you're expecting him to do it. And act as if you have received it before you receive it. So you can give him the praise, the honor, and the glory. When the Lord gives you something, he gives you a nice car. He gives you a beautiful house. He gives you a beautiful wife or a beautiful husband. He gives you good children. Don't be boastful about it. Give him praise. Because he didn't give us these things for us to praise ourselves or to show off. He gives us because he loves us and he wants us to return to him. He praises that is due to him. I cannot stop lifting up Praises to God, for he has done so much for me. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have been doing. Hallelujah. You are worthy to receive honor and glory and praise forever. You, God, deserve all the praises that is due to us. Sometimes I observe that some people will sing a song and it sounds good. And at the end of the song, they would hold it out, hold out the note so long. And at the end of it, they are expecting a nice amen. Say, boy, you good. You ever hear that? And they expect a nice amen because you hold it out long. And when you hold it out and you get amen, you feel good. Whose praise is that? You are trying to get praise for yourself trying to get praise for ourselves. But when we sing, and we sing from our heart, and the melody reach to up to heaven, and when they say amen, hallelujah, 
You can say, thank you, Jesus. That is the praise that I want to give to you. The psalmist David said, praise God for everything. Because in Psalms 125 verse 2 it says, Every day I will bless the Lord and praise his name forever and ever. And in Psalms 147 verse 1, he says, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto God. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely. And in Psalms 148 verse 1, he says, Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. And in Psalms 149 verse 1 he says, Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. And in Psalms 149 verse 6 he says, Let the high praise of God be in your mouth. And in Psalms 150, he says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the Psaltery and harp, praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with string instruments and organs, praise him upon loud cymbals, praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything, everything I say, let everything that had breath, praise thee the Lord, praise thee the Lord, praise thee the Lord. Jesus, oh, what a joy, I'll tell the world I am redeemed, see I've been bought, I've been bought with a price, see Jesus, Jesus has changed my whole life. Just tell them, just 
love never bites. Where there was confusion, peace now reigns, and it's all because I'm walking with Jesus. I'm a child of the King. Thank you, Lord, and it's all. to God. I am elated. Why? Because I am blessed. I am blessed. Church, are you blessed? Those who are online and in church, if you are blessed, I want you right now to make a comment in the comment section by saying praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, well, however you want to praise the Lord, let us just praise him now because he is worthy to be praised. I hope you have been blessed too. I must sincerely say a very big thank you for all those who have made this Sunday night meeting a success. My friends online and in house, whenever you're sad, sing. Whenever pain is rocking your body, sing. When there is no money in the pocket, sing. And when you're happy, sing. My friends, we have a God that is worthy to be praised. And I want to praise him because he's worthy to be praised. But before I go, 
please remember to join us on Wednesday night for our Wednesday night meeting and on Friday night for our Vesper Thoughts and on Sabbath, our regular meeting. Thank you.